In many college classes, it is not uncommon to see students with their laptops open during lecture. As students, technology impacts our means for learning in even more ways than we realize. For example, in class, we often use computers to take notes or to interact with the professors. From my own personal experiences, typing my notes on my computer during lectures allows me to take better notes and stay more focused. In a sense, it forces me to listen. Technology is an integral part of our lives. When it comes to technology in the college classroom, there are people like myself who believe it is beneficial and should be allowed, and there are people that feel that technology is too much of a distraction. Today, I want to share with you ways that laptops in the classroom can enhance the learning experience for college students. What I hope you will come away with today is that technology in the classroom is critical for our success and it is so important that we urge our professors to allow us to use our laptops while in class. Calls to ban laptops in college classrooms are based on the premises that computers in the classroom can negatively affect not only the user, but also the students sitting close by. There has been research done to prove that students cannot simultaneously pay attention in the classroom while at the same time surfing the web, checking emails, and going on social media sites. However, despite these negative perceptions, research has proven that laptops in the classroom enhances students' learning. First of all, laptops can be used in classrooms to level out the knowledge base of students. Students come into classrooms with many differences in knowledge. Rather than professors trying to figure out how much students already know about a topic, they can start off the class by having students explore the topic on their laptop so there's a better understanding prior to the professor starting the lecture. In the YouTube video titled, Don't Ban Those Laptops in Class, college professor Rick Salutin emphasizes a major benefit of computers in the classroom, which is that it encourages learning because students can interact and even correct a professor based on a search they just did. He also believes that computers eliminate the annoyance of whispering because if a student really needs to communicate, they can email or just text. This professor also brings up a valid point, which is, if students do not want to pay attention, it is their own loss, but computers benefit the majority of students who do want to learn. Another way that laptops can enhance learning in the classroom is to create an interactive environment. Large class sizes can make it very difficult for students to engage in lectures. Programs have been developed to allow students to participate by answering questions on the computer during class and displaying the answers on the screen for instant analysis. Professors can immediately see whether students understand a concept and can tailor the lecture accordingly. Interacting with the class via the computer is a great way for students to pay attention and to, to learn what is being taught. Another great benefit of the computer in the classroom is the ability to type notes. When writing notes on paper, it is often difficult to write quick enough to get down all the information, and oftentimes, if you are writing very fast, it is messy and hard to read later on. By using the computer, students can take more thorough notes and even type it in an outline format, which will make it easier to study for later on. Another major benefit to allowing computers in college classrooms is preparing students for the fu their future careers because computers are used in the working world on a daily basis. In the article titled, The Benefits of Computers in the Classroom, Kelly Freeman states, the classroom is a good starting point for students to learn how to use complex machines. Computers are used for word processing, the internet, research, communication, blogs, and podcasts, and these are all tools that they will continue to use later in life in the workplace. In Nicole Short's article titled, Don't Ban Laptops in the Classroom, she also highlights the importance of using computers in college classrooms to prepare students for the working world by teaching them the importance of learning how to function with distractions. As Short explains, students can find several ways to distract themselves, but Computers are more engaging tool than a distracting one. She makes a very valid point, which is that students should learn strategies for managing distraction, or at least learn the consequences of not being able to. As she states, we cannot follow students throughout their lives and force them to pay attention. So instead, 
we should teach them how to single task despite distraction. Despite the distraction potential of laptops in a college classroom, research shows that laptops increase students' engagement, attentiveness, participation, and learning. In the video, Should Laptops Be Banned from the Classroom? Students and professors are interviewed and give their opinion on the advantages and disadvantages of computer use. In general, students come to a consensus that laptops should be allowed in the classroom. They cite reasons that it helps them to understand what is going on, it speeds up note-taking, and allows them to look up topics and words that are being discussed in the class if they do not understand. A few students and professors made comments regarding the possibility of being distracting. However, what I found most compelling is the fact that both the students and professors agree that laptops in the classroom became less of a disturbance when the professor worked to actively engage their students. Overall, the students were in agreement that laptops are very helpful for them to aid in their learning. The computer has become a vital tool to our society and is especially beneficial to college students. While there can be some disadvantages to using computers in the classroom, such as distractions, there are ways to preventing that and using the skill to our advantage. There is no reason to stop computer access as a tool to help students learn and grow. Technology was created to help improve our lives and there is no need to deprive students of this great accomplishment. I have set out to show you today that there are many benefits to the use of computers in college classrooms and students need to make sure that they will be able to use computers in the classroom to aid in educating themselves.